It's UWA. How y'all doing today? I just wanna say that I thought I would have an intro by tonight, but it's all right. And yo, if you wanna hit me up with an intro, there would be a reminder towards the end of the show. Hey Google, turn on my light. Okay, turning on my light. What's up, y'all? UWA here. Hope y'all are having a blessed year right now. Only th three, four weeks in. I don't know. Probably. So today, we're going to be talking about the Google Home Mini. Not the Max, because, you know, I'm broke. So, first off, let me give you a little example. Hey, Google, turn on my setup. Okay, turning my setup on. Or, let's change the complexion of my skin. Hey, Google. Turn my lights purple. You got it. Changing my there light to go. purple. I like this lighting. Okay. So, let's talk about the good things right now. One, the speaker. The speaker for this small, compact thing. Like, it looks like it's as big as a donut. About that big. I don't know. But, as big as a donut. And it gives pretty good bass for its size. It The speakers are loud. They're, they're crisp for... Of course, it's size. And let me start off with the price is $50, but of course, it can go down to $30. Well, $29.99, but you know, good and well, everyone calls it $30. But overall, I really like this thing. One, because it helps me get through everyday usage. So let's say I need an alarm. All I can say is, hey, Google, put an alarm at 6 a.m. All right, your alarm is set for tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay, hey, Google. What's the weather like? Right now in Macon, it's 56 and cloudy. Tonight, it's predicted to be 55 and cloudy. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 9.19. Watch it is. Don't have my watch, whoops. But yeah, all those things are great and the speakers are nice and loud. Also, it, you can have other features on it, like you could play games, but I'm a loner so I don't play games with it. And, uh, of course, the app. The app is pretty simple, can get complicated at some point, such as, like, trying to pair some, like, trying to pair a third-party device to it. It gets kind of complicated, which I understand, but the app overall isn't that bad. I'd give it a four out of five stars. Okay. Also, <clears throat> oh. The voice recognition. So, let's say I have my own voice. So, that, okay, let me give you a hypothetical. You have two people paired, like let's say you're living with someone, and one person has their own schedule while the other has the another. So, it's going to recognize your voice when you say like, Hey Google, what is my schedule? It's going to say it for one person and one person only. It will not confuse it confuse y'all. So those are pretty good things. Now you're hearing, oh, I, I don't. There are. I really love cool. I really, I'm saving up. I really do like Google. But, and I'm saving up for the Pixel 2. Okay. Some things aren't perfect. With the Google. The microphones. Loud. So let's say microphones don't catch your voice. So like let's say you're talking.
you just Me an intro. Let me an inside scoop of the next video. Next video is probably going to be talking about my setup. It's, it's going to be an easy setup. Set up tour. Notification bell. Uh, previous. I haven't mastered this. Left. This is my. Right. It's going to be on my left, but I'll leave you.